What's the matter? Why are you so depressed? I just think about Peter all the time. Lane, just don't. Don't. You know, I think he's going to write that book on my mother. Good God. You're all supposed to go out today together. If she ever gets up. She's up. She said she'd be a little late. Lane, could I speak to you for a minute? Yes. They really need you in the barn to answer some questions. Oh, okay. Their final offer is 175. 175? You you said two. That's as high as they go. This area isn't what it was. Yeah, but I, I've really been counting on that money. Are you sure? I'm Diane said they'd be a little late. I'll let them know that you're here. You've really been avoiding me. I think you should leave here. I think you should go back to New York. I'd like to know what's going on. I'm having a hard time. And uh, even though she tries to hide it, Lane is too. Don't say that. She, she thinks about you all the time. And you? Naturally, I think about you. And yet you avoid me. Are you going to write Diane's biography? Well, believe it or not, I'm thinking about it. Why, Peter? What happened to the book about your father? I know. I... It just isn't coming. I told you that. It... I've been beating my brains out about it all summer long, and I... I don't know. It's lifeless. And then I hear all these sensational anecdotes and stories, you know? This woman's had an incredible life. I mean, The Shooting Alone is a book. Lane doesn't want it written. Well, I'm not so sure. I mean, if I do it, I can protect her, and somebody's gonna write it. No, Peter, I mean, just put yourself in her place for one minute. I mean, here's this 14-year-old girl. You know, her mother leaves her father, who Lane adored, and moves in with this thug who constantly beats up Diane, and Lane ends up shooting him. I mean, it's completely wrecked her life. You know, you don't want to put her through that again. You know, people staring at her as she walks down the street. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't, I just feel so guilt-ridden, just very tense. Peter, please don't do this. Oh. Steffi. Let's... Let's go to Paris together. Let's go to Paris together. My God, you really are... You really are a writer, aren't you? This is why, you know, I have to stay away from you because you just make my head spin. I just can't. I can't do this. I I guess we should have knocked. I always worry about rabies. I read about a woman in the Daily News who was bitten by a squirrel in Central Park and she got rabies. Well, nothing like that ever happens up here. It's completely safe. Well, the thing that bothers me are not the raccoons, but the knots. I mean, they can drive you crazy sometimes. You don't have a big insect problem here, do you, Lane? Lane? Well, imagine you do have mosquitoes. Well, naturally, with the pond. Mm -hmm. Well, mosquitoes are rare. Aren't they, Lane? Lane? It's it's usually very pleasant. I imagine the frogs would eat the mosquitoes. <laughs> Snakes don't eat the frogs. <laughs> it, 
Is it okay if we go upstairs? Yes, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm getting a headache. I'll, I'll join you in a few minutes. Okay, but do hurry. There are a number of questions Mr. and Mrs. Raines would like to ask. Yes, now what about hornets and bees? Oh, well, now, this is the country, Mrs. Raines, not Midtown Manhattan.